Hey guys, it's Leanne with Small Town Stitches and we are back for Floss Tube 101. Happy Christmas Eve. Today is the 24th. Um, so from my family to yours, I hope you have a fabulous Christmas. Um, let's see. This, I don't know how long this is going to be. Um, I have the month to recap, so grab some stitching, grab a drink, wrap some presents, clean your house. I don't know, but I don't usually have really long videos, so it shouldn't be too long. All right, so life update. Um, not much is no with me. Uh, same old, same old. Um, I did take yesterday off work, so that was very nice. Um, let's see, what have we had since then? We had Bella's Christmas concerts, um, at school and they did their, their two songs at the church service last Sunday. Um, schools was a little bit weird. So it was supposed to be Tuesday, December 6th. So she had a one o'clock, um, dress rehearsal and then she had uh, her the night actual concert was supposed to be at 630. So they did their one o'clock dress rehearsal and When we got to the parking lot, we got an email um, From the administration saying that due to so many kids being out of school Monday and Tuesday um, They were shutting school down for the rest of the week um they had talked to the health department. They had missed their minimum state requirements, which is you have to have 75% of your kids in the school. Um, there was a, over 160 kids out. And they said 50% of those that called in reported a fever. Um, Bella had a fever that weekend. She had it Friday broke it Sunday night, but we had kept her home Monday. She was one of those kids to make sure she was 24 hours fever free before going back to school. So she went back to school that Tuesday to be sent home for the next three. Um, they said the three biggest causes were the three normals, which you have RSV, norovirus, and influenza. Most of them were RSV and the flu. So they sent the kids home, shut the school down for three days, and then when they came back, most of the kids kicked it and were fine. So um, those got rescheduled to the following Tuesday, so the 13th, um, which she was kind of struggling with. Her dad had to work that night. Her grandpa, my dad, uh, couldn't make it because of a class he was taking. So um, thankfully, one of my husband's coworkers covered him for about an hour so he could go. So she was very excited for that. And then my mom came, but since my dad couldn't, she brought my youngest sister with her. So, um, it all worked out, but it was a little bit crazy. She is finally on Christmas break. Um, that started the 22nd. So she's very, very excited. Uh, we've been able to do Christmas things this year. Um, because last year we were sick with COVID and we couldn't, we couldn't do anything. So, um, it's very nice. It makes you, um, more grateful for the times like this because you can do things now. Um, husband is finishing a 48 hour shift. He gets to come home tonight. He has to do another one next weekend, but that's, that'll, daughter was very, very upset last night because, She's not used to dad being gone for two nights in a row. So, um, other than that, it's just been work. It's been, um, work, house, life. I think that's about it. Um, so yeah, let's, um, get into some stitching. All right, I had a giggle. So I binge watched Angie, who is Angie Slowly Crafts here on Floss Tube. I binge watched all of hers and she cracked me up when she said that she um, wonders what people are doing when they when they splice their video together because she wonders if it's anything funny and if she's missing it. So Angie, you didn't miss anything. I had a text come in from my husband that I answered. <laughs> so... But if you have not checked out Angie 
um, Angie Slowly Crafts, highly, highly recommend you do so. Um, oh my gosh, I have the floss soup itchy nose. Give me a second. Okay, right, good gravy. So I highly, highly recommend you check out Angie and her channel. Um, she is a lover of full coverage as well. Um, so I'll just do a couple other floss tube shout outs that I have been binge watching. So the other one is going to be Alicia and she is Adventures in Stitching. I have been wa binge watched all of her videos too. Um, I, she is a joy just to watch. Um, so I highly, highly recommend that you check her channel out. I've been kind of asking her a bunch of questions, uh, I think yesterday, and she was so sweet with answering them. So thank you so much, Alicia. I truly appreciate it. Um, and then the other one is Jamie and she is cross stitch and chill. And I am in the middle of binge watching hers because she has, um, quite a few videos out. So, um, she is a lover of full coverage as well, and she is also a Lord of the Rings nerd, so, uh, yay to my fellow nerds, um, or geeks, or whatever people want to call us dorks. I'll take them all. I, I, that, that doesn't bother me anymore. Um, but it is partially Jamie and Alicia's fault for a new start that I want to do, which we'll talk about in a little bit. So, go ahead and check out those three channels. Um, I have been binge watching all of them because I usually watch people and floss tube while I work. So let's get into some stitching now. So last time I filmed was November 30th. So we are starting at the beginning of December and kind of going through all of our projects that we have done so far. At the end, I have been asked this multiple times on my Flossmas videos that I have been filming. I am planning on doing a whip parade, um, whether it be Christmas Eve, or Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, I'm not exactly sure, um, but I am planning on filming a full on whip parade for you guys. Um, I calculated out and I have 18 right now. So um, with a couple starts that I have planned. Anywho, um, so yes. Um, I also was asked if I was going to be doing a planner video. Now I do not do hardcore planning, but if planning and what I do for my planning is something that you are interested in, let me know and I can kind of do a planner video for you. Let's talk stitching. It may help if I don't put my planner away. So the first thing we stitched on and this rotation was Halloween night. I'm gonna scooch a little bit so I can put it a picture. This is by Tilton Crafts. I think I have a picture of where it was before we started on it. Hopefully I'll have to go back into my phone. And I got a total of seven days and I got a total of 1,218 stitches. This was one of my whip go goals for this, for this month that was called. And this is where we are. So we, for this rotation, worked on a lot, a lot of tombstone. So this is where this piece is at right now. This is my oldest piece too. You wouldn't be able to tell by looking at it, but I'm enjoying stitching on this. It's, this piece doesn't have a deadline or anything like that. So it's not a rush, but this is where we're at. Love it. Highly, highly, highly recommend if you like stitching them. Halloween pieces to check this one out. That is my first one. This is gonna be so much stuff to take care of when we're done. <clears throat> so, secondly, I split up my whip go goals and I worked on Mini C Opal. This is also a Heaven and Earth design. Shocker. The artwork is by Elizabeth Welker. This is where we were. I got a total of three days and a whopping 250 stitches. But this is where we landed on. And we just kind of filled in a little bit. So. Not a lot, but 250 is still 250 stitches. So 
and I am a hoop girl. Eight inches are my, my eight inch hoops are my favorite, and these things are my best friends, hands down. All right. Next up, our last whip go goal was Quaker Christmas. This one kind of gave me a little bit of a headache, a lot bit of a headache, to be honest. This is by Bygone Stitches and looks like this. I think I have a picture of where it was, unless for some reason I accidentally deleted them. Get it out. And here we are now. So I'm gonna kind of show you what I did. So this rotation, we finished the f this page, honestly. So we finished all of this, this flower, this, all this stuff down here and put the seven in. We did this up here. Um, and then we went over. So this is what was giving me so much headache. So there was supposed to be a border around this motif. And no matter what I was doing, it would not, it would not match up. And I was getting so fed up. <laughs> so what I decided to do was I ripped it out. The year was supposed to be on one side over here. I divided it up. It says 2016 because that is year my husband and I got married. Um, and then I, what I've, I've just been kind of fudging it to fill in kind of the gaps. Um, this motif was moved I think it was supposed to be farther this way. So I moved it more over. This one was supposed to almost be right on top of this motif. So I kind of just brought it up. So that's all I'm doing is I'm kind of filling in the gaps. And then I figure after where I'm done with the piece, if I need to, I can just add a couple more little ones in to kind of fill that. But this is where we're sitting right now on this piece. The only thing that I'll be changing is... I can't go off. I have to count off of this, not the, the border when I do more stitching, but I'm totally not regretting not doing that border. So that's where we're sitting so far. Which meant that was a completion of my whip go board. I have a blackout. I completely finished my board. I'll show it to you in all its random colors. Um, I finished everything. This gave me a lot of sense of direction and it kind of led me to where I was. I realized I'm a, um, a planner when it comes to my stitching. Um, and I really enjoy that. So after Quaker Christmas, Quaker Christmas also got seven days and I don't think I said it but I got 1,423 on that piece and that completed my whip go goals so then we did mini yield kitchen we're almost caught up on um this month already this was my birthday start from this year I'll insert a picture of what this is going to look like this is by heaven and earth designs artwork is by Chiro Marchetti I think I have a picture of where it started. I got a total of 420 stitches. But that 420 stitch, I want to hold things over here. I'm sorry. It's just natural. Um, that 420 stitches, we finished a diagonal and we started the next one. So 420 stitches, but that 420 stitches actually got us quite a bit. I love this piece. I love this piece. I love how you can see the top of everything coming in, all the wheat, the tile work, and the start of something. I'm not sure what that is yet. Love it. Absolutely love it. And this one is stitched done in 18 count.
All right. Next brings us to Namisto, which is by Lena Cross Stitch, and it looks like this. Mine is color coded for my conversion. I have a picture of where it was when I started. I may put it down here because that's kind of like a long and narrow. Just finished this last night. This also didn't get a ton. Got 402 stitches this rotation, but we have finished our first row of pages. So that's where we're at. You can see our light, our medium, and our dark. I really like this colorway. I really, really like it. I own the Twisted Band Sampler and I own the cross stitch version and I've been watching Jamie cross stitch and chill and she is doing the one with specialty stitches, but the rainbow colors are not me. And I really am thinking of trying to convert it to like earthy tones or some sort of like teal or blue gradient. So that's why I haven't started it yet, but this is where we're at. So cute. All right. Next is my daily piece. Which is Hometown Hero Firefighter from Donna Gelsinger. The pattern is charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. I believe it's still available. Pretty sure it's still available. I have not done any stitching today. It's nine o'clock in the morning. I'm behind on my, my downtime, but I don't know if I'll get tons of stitching in today and tomorrow. So I have done a total this month so far of 4,588 stitches. I've been doing, sticking with my 200 a day that I'm trying to do so I can finish this. Even if I take today and tomorrow off, this piece should be finished in January. This is where we were when you guys saw it at the end of November. Here we are now. Hold on. I can't, <laughs> I can't even. So we finished that bottom page. You can fully see the first boot and we have started over here. So we finished that bottom page. You can see their bunker pants and the first boot. And we're over here working on the SCBA. And this is all we have left to do when this piece is fully finished. On my end. <laughs> um, I am debating afterwards going to take it to Michael's and see if they, if the one in my area have, has done any cross stitch finishing. Because the what I'm thinking for this is I want a nice, really nice mat. Um, so I'm so excited. I can't, it's so, it's so beautiful. And this is a mini. So just imagine the work on the original, on the regular size. I'm so proud of this piece. So, so proud of this piece. Um, yeah. So that's all my stitching. Woohoo. I got some crazy hair going on now. Um, plants. I am going to try to not buy anything minus if I need like floss, like if I run out on a piece or something like that, but I'm really going to try not to buy anything next year. Heaven and Earth Designs, please be nice to me. I am planning on a new start. I did find also a temperature pattern that I'm going to stitch. I'll insert it here. I think it's by Zara Designs. It's just the colors. So I will start on that. I thought it would be something fun. It said that the daily stitching is 21 stitches. So even if it becomes like a weekly thing, it'll be okay. But after watching Alicia and Jamie, I've decided to start my Lord of the Rings pattern. 
I have the one by Tilton Crafts. Um, it's giant. So I was trying to figure out how to do it so maybe eventually at some point in my life I could hang it up. Um, and I've been really listening to Suki, um, Alicia, Jamie, a lot of them do tent stitch and make it go faster. So <clears throat> I went through the amazing box of floss that I was gifted and some that I had and I only had to order, I only ordered one skein of each to start with and this pattern calls for like 30 of one color. I only had to order four skeins, they're folded in half, of floss on what I needed. I don't, I, I'm insane. I need a really good light. That's my next thing is where I stitch in the family room, I don't have very good lighting, especially for this. I actually could use some magnifiers too. Guys, this is 28 count. I'm gonna try and do this two over one tent stitch. Can you see how small those squares are? Those are for 100 blocks. I'm used to my 18 or 20 count, so I don't know how this is going to go. But I'm going to give it my darndest, I can tell you that. I sure am. So, that is going to be started soon. That is my only haul that I purchased in a long time. And it was so amazing that that's all I had to buy for floss. And then I was sent an amazing, amazing gift. I don't have a frame for this yet. Um, Jamie reached out to me and said that she had stitched a, a piece for her daughter, I believe it was, but her daughter is not into superheroes anymore. And if you have watched any of my Flossmas videos, my daughter is. Uh, she had a like a superhero advent calendar this year. I started crying when this came in the mail. <clears throat> stitchers, stitchers understand. This is what she sent my daughter. Can you even? <laughs> the kindness that was shown by someone else to my daughter Thank you. Truly thank you. She's going to love it. She's absolutely going to love it. Jamie, thank you. So I need to get that a frame and frame that for her. It won't be framed um, by Christmas because that's tomorrow. Um, but I'm really hoping maybe by her birthday. And her birthday is in February, so that should happen. Um, I still have her frozen piece that I had made, if you guys remember me stitching. I had it done by last year, last Christmas, and was planning on doing it. But then I got sick, and I never got around to it. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, to get that done tonight and wrap it, and I can give it to her this year. So I think that's it. I think that's it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put all this together and upload it for you guys. I need to wrap some presents today. I need to make some dinner today. I got laundry rolling right now because I realized I'm on the last like pair of pants that I have. So I hope everyone just has an amazing, amazing holiday. And I do totally understand that the holidays are really rough for some. Um, the holidays and healthcare are honestly very busy. Um, some for your normal healthcare needs and some for, for people that are just really struggling. So, um, I am not a social worker. I'm not a therapist, but I am a friend. So if you need someone to talk to, please reach out to somebody. So remember your mental health is important and to take time for yourself each and every day in whatever form that is and to be a light to the world around you. I will see you guys for my next video, which will be a whip update. Merry Christmas from my family to yours.